Hey guys, I am Jeff the Homestead Dad. We are actually on our way to go look at a zero turn lawnmower. Uh, I, some of you guys might know, I used to own a landscaping company and we did uh, probably 90% of our business, probably 80 to 90% of our business was lawn maintenance. And I am by no means an expert at mowers, uh, but I know a fair bit about them. So I figured I'd take you guys along, uh, show you what I'm looking at, uh, what I'm looking for to make sure that they, uh, so this is not a new mower, this is a uh, used mower, it's had some parts replaced, so there's a couple different things you can look for just to make sure you're you know, not getting something that needs, what is that? It's your turn. Oh, it looks like O-turn. Um, so, anyway, we're going to look at an O-turn. Um, so I'll take you along, let you know what I'm looking for, uh, and if you guys are interested, hopefully you like it. Okay guys, so we're here looking at the mower, um, and it is actually exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I've already taken a look at it, I've already run it. So the couple things that if you're looking for a used mower to look for is on the mower here, this is a hydraulic mower. Your hydraulic motors are here and over here. And when those start to go, um, they will whine when you're not using them. So they make noise when you use them because they're pumping um, hydraulic fluid through them. But when you're not using them, if you're just sitting there idling and they start to whine, uh, that is a bad sign that you'll probably have to replace those. These aren't doing this, these are perfect. Uh, the other thing I wanna show you is underneath the deck. So I'm gonna take the camera and put it underneath the deck, is you wanna make sure that the spindles that the blades attach to do not wobble. Um, and these are super solid, they're in great shape. Uh, the other reason I like this mower is it's got this um, clamshell leaf catcher, grass catcher on it. I could use this for the, the livestock. So I wouldn't even have to get off. You flip this lever, it opens it up and it dumps it. So I could dump it right next to the fence and have the kids push it through. Um, it's got uh, counterweights on the front. It's got brand new wheels. It looks like it's in um, wonderful shape. So let me show you the spindles underneath. The engine fired right up, but those are the two things that can be really worn on used machines is the spindles and the hydraulic motor. So let's get underneath the mower. Okay, so we're under the mower. You can see the belt right or the blade right here. This is where it screws on right here. And if you grab the blade and try to wobble it up and down, it shouldn't move. And this one you can tell. I'm trying to torque on it and it's not going anywhere. If there's any play in that at all then you might have to replace the spindle, which isn't terrible to do, but it's not a lot of fun. Um, so I've checked all three of these. They're all rock solid. Um, so that's one reason you wanna make sure you keep these greased is so that they don't uh, wear out any faster than you need them to. Okay, so those are the two things that I um, normally look for on a mower like that. Obviously you wanna look for rust, uh, you want to look and see if uh, there's evidence that it's been greased on a regular basis um, and not that every, I mean, you want to see that the grease is relatively new. Um, if everything looks like it's just been greased, they may be trying to compensate for something. This one you can tell they, you know, put the time in. Uh, hour meter is okay to look at, um, but it'll only tell you so much. Like that one has a new motor in the last our new engine in the last two years. So the hour meter doesn't really tell me that much. The engine fired right up, sounded great. The hour meter will tell you, you know, how much overall wear that the mower has. Um, for how old that mower is, he says we need it. Um, for how old that mower is, the rust is not bad. There's a little bit of rust on the deck and on some of the metal parts, but it's not bad. And it's all surface rust. Um, those decks, the commercial decks, are made to be very robust. So, um, so yeah, fires right up. Um, yeah, so those are kind of the, some of the things you want to look for. Um, but really, the the hydraulic motors and the spindles are the big things. I mean, blades are easy and relatively inexpensive to, you know, you have to change those all the time anyway. Uh, belts relatively easy and inexpensive to replace not a big deal um, so as long as the engine looks good and your motors um, 
you know, battery again, you could do it. Starter, as long as it starts right up, you know, that's a good sign. It's very difficult to tell if, um, you know, your starter is going to go bad anytime soon. But that one, it's got new um, tires on it, the big back tires, which are kind of expensive. It's got the counterweights on it. Um, so I would, be able to, I would be able to use that grass catcher. Um, a lot of people probably wouldn't have use for it unless you're you know, doing it commercially and you do a lot of cleanups and you're using it to collect um, leaves. Um, that one for me, I could use it to feed the animals. <clears throat> so a good commercial mower, whether it's walk behind or zero turn, if you're just using it on your homestead and you take care of it, you know, you change the oil, you make sure everything's greased, should last you many, many, many years. In fact, when we were just in Wisconsin, um, when my brother and I joined our two companies and started um, the new company with us together, we sold my uncle in Wisconsin one of my brother's walk-behind mowers because we didn't need it. It was, um, it was redundant and it wasn't as big as one of the other walk-behind mowers we had, so we sold it to him. And when we were just over there in Wisconsin visiting, he still has it. Uh, he's, you know, had to do all the maintenance and, and stuff like that. But this is 15, 16, 17, 18. No, it's probably 18 to 20 years later. And it still works great for him. Uh, actually, my cousin's son is using it to cut a, a couple of the local neighbor um, yards. So he's using it, you know, somewhat commercially. So if you take care of a commercial mower, you are far better off spending a little bit extra money and getting a commercial series mower than you are going to Home Depot or Lowe's or your big box store and buying a residential unit. That residential unit, you know, if you're lucky, will last you five to seven years. And you can get more use out of it possibly. Um, but if you ever want, like if your kids ever want to use it to start cutting grass on a somewhat commercial basis, it's gonna wear out really quickly. So, look at a commercial mower, you can find them used. I still, <coughs> I'm always looking for commercial mowers, because uh, if I can find a good deal, uh, I'm always tempted to, to grab another one because my kids are gonna be old enough at some point that um, you know they may wanna start their own business. So, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, like I said, I'm not an expert by any stretch, I worked at a small engine shop for one winter. Uh, and I, we tried to do as much of the stuff that we could on our mowers ourselves. Um, my dad was able to help us, you know, replace things when we needed to have them replaced. But um, yeah, I've always been a big fan of Toro Xmark. I think is owned by the same parent company, so they're very similar. Um, but any of the commercial mowers uh, will do you well. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you and your family, and we'll see you guys in the next video.